Okay, you beautiful amphibians, welcome back to the back of the semi truck. And y'all know the drill by now noise, noise, noise outside. It creeps in, blah, de, blah, blah. We're in the back of a semi truck, so who cares, right? Right. So, I know y'all never hear the noise, but I just say that always just in case for the new folks who are around. And from what I've seen, this is a fairly bigger episode than, you know, stuff that's been previous before this um i don't know what other way to say that because i think this is just a self-contained episode instead of having the 11 minute episode at the front and the tail end episode at the second half so if it's a you know full-fledged episode that means it's bigger i think it's called the first temple or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but I am glad to be back on a schedule, and I know the previous episode for, you know, reactions to Amphibia was a little late. It was like a week late, actually, because I watched it, but then I got into some YouTube drama, <laughs> and I was paying attention to that, and I had to get out of it. It was actually affecting me up here, and I was catching myself being short with some folks, and I'm like, no, this isn't me. So let's get back to what we do best around here. That's watching cartoons. These are my first reactions to each episode. And I don't know what else to say other than that, because, yeah, I mean, the thumbnail that I got right here, it is all of them gathered around the table i don't know if it's breakfast i don't know what it is but it looks like they got some pancakes here now i am going to presume that those are not blueberry pancakes even though they got little specks of what looks like blueberries that's not blueberries in there sorry but it ain't because these are frogs and they eat they eat bugs like timon and pumbaa so i'm presuming it's some sort of bug type of pancakes so i don't really know what else to say other than you know what oh actually now that i'm looking at the thumbnail i like his stove over there because the stove actually looks like it's kind of positioned to be a frog as well so that's pretty interesting but that's a side tangent let's go ahead earbud in earbud in and i've been using the new thumbnails lately for about two weeks now maybe three weeks i'm not 100 percent sure but I don't know how y'all feel about them, but I like them. They look a little more professional, and granted, yes, you know, with it looking a little more professional, we're sitting in the back of a semi-truck, I understand, but hey, you get what you get. Three, two, one, and play. Oh yeah, definitely a bigger episode. That's what happens when we get that intro. The first temple. You lied and buried the music box, causing Ann to almost really sprig forever. <gasps> Monster bird ridden by a pile of books. Wait, huh? Hiya, yeah. Oh, hey, wait. Where it's Marcy. <laughs> it threw me off with Hot Pop saying a monster bird right, with a pile of books riding it. Okay, Marcy, sweet. It's your house, which is so rustic and cute. When was it? If my studies are correct, then. Ooh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, uh, wow. I better not. Hmm? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, we've got a big journey ahead. Um. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> go. Oh my gosh! I did not think I was going to see a mating dance in this episode. <laughs> Down. You know, out of everything, I'm more Everybody interested in wondering how that bird got the scar. Little help here. Whoa. No, no, no. That's the temple. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Literally right behind them. Outhouse. It's an outhouse. Really, y'all? Did I learn an entire dead language just for today? You better believe I did. Now let's yeah. see. That's Eight dedication, y'all. One strong of mind. Three trials await that will return the stone's shine. Hey, looks like there's three trials, guys. This thing's got like a zillion permutations. If this temple thinks it can beat me, it's got another thing coming. Uh, guys? 
Oh, that's interesting. I like this. Anyone else tasting chocolate bean pancakes right about now? Marcy, can you at least let us know where you're gonna move before you move it? Two to go. <laughs> How fun is this? Oh my gosh. You're going to forget that they're there, Marcy. Oh my goodness. Not to mention she's a tad overconfident. A dangerous room. What to do? Don't be jealous of my hue. Huh? Who's you? Hmm. So red, huh? Hue. Nope, nope. Now we're going to blue. Okay, so pink red. is death by flame. Well, blue is death by red crushing. to me, but I'm okay. Pink is red me. fire. Blue is crushing. The green, the color of envy. Ah, uh, yes. Naturally, I have a lot of green friends who would find that offensive. But <laughs> why hasn't the door open then? Wow. Hmm. Looks like this is a two-person job. It's fine, but let's stop pretending I'm part of the family, okay? Huh. Uh, everything okay over there? Can someone please hit the button? Gladly. And a one. And a two. And, and, and goes first. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I bet that would be so traumatizing in real life. Sure they'll work it out by the time we get there. Mm. One hour so not later. Nothing I can do to fix this. Not one thing. Nothing's coming to mind. But are you wise enough to solve what's in store? Hmm. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> that is some good confidence right there. <laughs> and they're trying to flip it. Each piece has a different set of abilities. These archers, for example, can only attack in a straight line. Oh, I love this game! So, it's chess. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Marcy, what does this say? Uh oh! Polly! Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. Polly, are you okay? Okay? I've got a <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I was gonna say sprigs of pawn. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? She's on the other side. No, this is good. I'll just play badly and sabotage the other team. Didn't think of that, did you, Temple? Ha! Here we go. Sabotage. Okay, I can't move. Oh, this ain't like chess at all. I don't like this game. <laughs> Such a basic response. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> <laughs> really, Polly? Gotcha! We win! Wait. What? <laughs> Okay, I think Hot Pop is out, and Anne, I think you should forgive him by now. I might be mad at you, but I don't want to hurt you. Well, you're already hurting me. I just need time. Look, I want things to go back to the way they were, but... but... That's good. I like that. I'll keep I'm this sorry. in mind. You take all the time you need. Maybe it's enough to admit we've still got issues instead of pretending they don't exist. Ah! Uh. Huh. So, what does all this mean then? Well, in your defense, that game was a ding ding cheat. Yeah! I still think you're pretty smart. A little obsessive, though. Thanks, Sprig. Polly. Hey, she remembered their names. Very, very interesting. I got it, Temple. I wasn't smart enough to win, but I could find the exit, okay? As the failure arrows wants to keep going this way. <sighs> well, well, obviously this Might means well. they're going Who's to charge the crystal and stuff. So, okay, cool. What? The outhouse? Wait a second. <gasps> what? Well then. No, it can't be. Only 
the worthy will have the wisdom to choose whether it's more important to win or have the humility to lose. Ah. A choice is made to save thy friends. And honestly, doesn't that make you a winner in the end? That last bit was oddly casual. <laughs> of course. Oh Why goodness. Did it? Okay. Wait, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it's leading us to the next temple. That's good. Oh, Dog. that's a good way of doing this. I like that. With a bit of work. Now, yeah, this is uncomfortable to watch. We're yeah. working on it. Hey, you guys want to go straight to the next temple tonight, or take a break first? Break, please. Fair enough. Oh, I was about to say something, but never mind. Let's check this out. Oh, why? You and them glasses, dude. Looks like they're making progress. That's enough for now, Yulin. I'll handle the rest. Sire? Hmm. The prophecy is being undone as we speak, my lord. My lord, Soon, huh? We will have our revenge. Okay, um... That obviously means that I'm going to be going and watching some... videos on this. Um, what the heck? I I'm tr what I'm trying to figure out in my head after seeing all those eyes... Is what the flip it is um it could be anything um i was thinking jeez oh, it could it, it can't be a centipede or nothing um nor could it i, I don't know it's not obviously it's not a millipede i'm trying to think of what it could be oh maybe a spider uh i i don't know i'm just gonna go watch some videos on it and all that stuff because that's something that i have no idea what it's about but obviously when he's bowing down and going, my lord, that means, obviously, he's not to be trusted. <laughs> Just like I've been thinking the whole time. And then on top of that, there's somebody above him. So, I don't know. Um, other than that, though, one thing that was clicking in my head when it's coming to forgiveness and stuff like that is the simple fact that this was a really good episode about forgiveness and you know the message of forgiveness sometimes forgiveness doesn't happen right away sometimes forgiveness takes some time sometimes whenever somebody does you wrong and yes this is going in a different direction than i actually expected it to but you know hey sometimes you got to tackle these issues you know but when somebody does you wrong sometimes it just doesn't get fixed like that it, sometimes you got to Either you got to give that person you did wrong the time to process and understand why you did what you did or process the fact that you did it or process just process in general what was going on. And then if it's vice versa and, you know, you had that done to you as opposed to you doing it to them, then that per you you as that person that got wronged has to process what they, you know, what they what happened to you. You can't just automatically stop and forgive. Like, it's no secret around here that I've had a, you know, I haven't had the greatest childhood and stuff like that. Honestly, yes, I've had a man-to-man -man talk with my dad. All that good stuff, but I don't know if I've 100% forgiven him. I'm still trying to take the time, even as old as I am now, I'm still trying to take that time and process some of the things that he's done and is it an easy road no it's not but you know me and my dad have come a long way and you know for the most part we're good and i figured and no this is you know y'all know i don't work off script so whenever i'm talking about stuff and it's personal like this it's just me being me so when it comes to my dad Yes, we've come a long way, but I have yet, I don't know if I've 100% forgiven him because he wasn't abusive towards me, but he was abusive towards my mother physically. And with them being alcoholics, it did not help anything. So growing up for me, all I learned from my dad was 
how not to treat a woman. Granted, no, I, I learned not to hit a woman growing up because I had to watch my mom endure that. But does that mean, thank you, dad, that I learned that from you? No, that doesn't mean that. What that means is, even as a grown adult, I have to still process these things and be like, you know what, you did me wrong, but you know, you know, you did me wrong, you did my mom wrong, you did all these things wrong, but I choose to still have this relationship with you, and we could work on these things. I've had a heart-to-heart -heart with him. It, it wasn't a very long heart-to-heart -heart because, you know, we are guys. We don't sit here and just throw our emotions out there like that, but forgiveness takes time sometimes. That's the whole point of that. Granted, yes, I want to know what to flip that dag on, whether or not it was a spider, or whether it was a some type of arachnid or whatever I want to know what that was at the end but I felt like talking about forgiveness was a little bit more important than talking about the big reveal of the end because I feel like the forgiveness aspect of this episode is the biggest aspect yes don't get me wrong it was getting a little annoying watching them two go back and forth but it is a key detail that needs to be pressed on because forgiveness takes time so, other than that, y'all know the drill from here. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I did.